Hey y'all, sorry about that. So, literally, it's going to be old baggage and it's going to be baggage from the counterfeit as well. So, this person has literally used and abused your spouse. So, um, whether it's man or woman, it's literally, they have literally dogged them out. And like I said in the other video, that's nothing to be happy about because now you got some extra work to do and you have some extra patience that you have to um, not interpret, but insert for this person. Like you need to be extra loving and extra patient and extra all that. So whatever I'm trying to say, because I'm trying to finish this work. Now, y'all will be, I'm oh, sorry, I'm feeding my baby right now. Y'all will be open and you have to practice self-control because some of these things that your person is going to tell you, your spouse, your prodigal, um, is going to be shocking. And um, I don't know, you need to just practice your facial expressions because okay thank you holy spirit you're gonna be shocked like in a good way sometime as some of this and in a bad way you're gonna be like okay but but it's just have be what is it be quick to listen and slow to speak which i i'm i'd rather be safe than sorry i'd rather not say nothing at all like you know maybe here and there because you know people want to make they want to you want to make sure that they feel that like you're listening because you are but like you want to acknowledge that you're listening, but oh no! If you don't know, I wouldn't say nothing. I will go to the Holy Spirit, like hey, Holy Spirit. So what? Do, what do I do? What do I do about this? <laughs> because uh, uh, it's like less is more. You can say you can say a lot and not be able to take it back, or you can say a little bit and be able to add to. So I'd rather just say a little bit and add to. Um, and when you do this practice, like you need to. You need to have it premeditated. Like, make sure your mad face ain't doing this. Make sure you're like not doing this. Like, you know, be like, mm hmm, okay. And I wouldn't even do all that. I'd be like, mm, yeah. You know, like I don't know, yeah, but don't do too much. You know, cause you know how some people just uh huh uh huh uh huh. It's like you're not listening. You just agreeing, so I shut up. Like, no, we don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that for y'all either. So also control your emotions in the spirit y'all are literally connected okay and the connection came in the spiritual before the physical so this person might not be operating um might not know that they're operating in their gifts but they can feel it the connection is there okay whether it's in the spiritual physical it is there okay so yeah and some of them, I don't know, I feel like some of them know, but most of them is unknowingly. They are not yet, um, they don't have the knowledge on what's really like happening. But they, it might, that intuition, I'm telling you, that intuition about, about it. Okay, <laughs> I put old O's, but Lord forgive me for that. Old, you know what, well, um, we'll talk. Oh, they, these, these counterfeits or yes, past counterfeits is multiples. There's a lot of fake money out there. Um, they know your place and they're going to try to like break the union up. So Jezebel going to be out there and she going to be, um, jumping in other people's bodies and stuff. And just know it's not that person. It's her. It's Jezebel okay it's them all right and y'all need to pray against leviathan and jezebel uh because leviathan is trying to slow it down um and jezebel is just annoying i'm sorry she is lord um but anyways they said some stuff about you okay and also your person went to these counterfeits it might be even family members too and they talked bad about you. Some of it was true. Some of it's not true. Get over it. Uh, what is it? Build a bridge and get over it. Okay. Because y'all, y'all the one for each other. Okay. So whether it's true or not true, the truth hurts first off. And the untrue stuff, they're going to have to correct anyways. Like the Lord's been saying this, like the, that person is going to have to say, oh, my bad. I was lying. And it is what it is. But you know, control your emotions because the lord is stressing this 
your facial expressions. Also, I can't do it right now, but like body language. When the arms are crossed, that means like, you know, you and y'all adults. When the arms is crossed, that means you're closed off. Like you're not really into the conversation. Also, watch your person's body language too. Now, the Lord showed me some of my information that is to never never get back to to my husband like to never it's it doesn't need to be talked about um repent for that thing like lord i repent in jesus name for a while blah, 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 blah. and don't because mm -mm. rather this is a especially for us women fellas whoever whatever man is listening to this like we are emotional beings okay we like no we might act like we not heard about that thing but we heard about that thing like that thing hurt these men are the same ladies these men literally ugh, it's the lord living in them okay that thing hurt okay that thing hurt so yeah you are not to like you are not to talk about oh yeah when we broke up i wop wop and woo woo bop bop but that 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 no mm -mm, no mm -mm. say that thing say that thing say that thing you know and if you like, I don't know, because I'd be feeling convicted. Like the most you're going to get out of me is nothing. I lied. <laughs> well, I didn't lie. I repeat that. But, you know, like I, I'm not the type to talk about that thing. I will sit in silence and I find I find that to be very helpful. All right. Now, you are a virgin, like period, like whether you're born again or not. No, not born again. You are born again. And if you have rededicated, thank you, Lord. That's what I was trying to say. If you have been rededicated, then, okay, you're a virgin again. Like, you just got rededicated. So, um, I already said there's no sex before marriage. But I know that mine is going, my honeymoon, and we're adults here now because I already don't rebuke the kids. The honeymoon is where I want my virginity to be taken. So, therefore, um, yeah, like, y'all going to be married and stuff, but I'm not going to be rushing. I mean, I already don't wait it that long. And I want my virginity to be um, memorable. Like, oh, I don't know, y'all. And some of us, like, I feel like I deserve that. I've been sexually abused, raped, and all that. I feel like I deserve to have my virginity taken in a respectful manner with the lord being in between it and the three string cord cannot be broken period anyways moving forward and there's going to be a shift so also some of y'all with our with our thank you holy spirit with our marriages um and this person not being fully um complete like coming in with baggage and stuff the lord is going to do a download and a shift once once that ring is on there, there's going to be a download and a shift taken. So, I feel like this person going to be like telekinesis with the Lord. <laughs> like, you know, he's literally, and she's literally going to be able to hear the Lord, like, very clear. Like, yeah. So, the Lord, I don't know if I can say that. The Lord, I don't know if I can say that. I, I understand the assignment, but I don't know if I can say that. Okay. But, yeah the lord created sex so therefore he knows what type of intimacy you like so if that person got that download and is hearing correctly then you, you get what i'm saying thank you holy spirit he'll take you the rest away if you missed that if that went over your head he'll take you the rest away and then also we are to pray for our spouses moms now i ain't <clears throat> some of these daddies they went um to get the milk and did not come back with the milk okay so but um you can pray for both parents i mean prayer does not hurt um prayer is a conversation with the lord but also speak to the father ask the father and still in jesus names just so your um your letter gets sent to the correct address okay um but also pray for your spouse's moms these moms um are not it might be your mama okay so don't be looking like that these moms are not for the union but the lord needs you to go and war and behind that and don't be acting funny towards your mother-in-law don't do that don't be doing all that 
um and it says your mom and prodigal's mom so yeah you your mama and your prodigal's mom because if it's a oh this is for prodigals okay well it might be for okay so i'm feeling like this is for people that haven't yet met their spouse is going to and your parent thank you holy spirit because i'll be forgetting your parents are like stuck on your ex like you done dated Jaquan for five years. Like, you and Jaquan is really mentally. So, they're not going to be for you dating someone else. Now, prodigals, y'all got bad, y'all got some bad stuff going on, the bad blood going on. And therefore, you need to pray um, for your spouse's mom. Let, uh, pray, ask the Lord, Lord, can you please t uh, touch so and so's heart? Um, I pray they get a hunger for you. Um, I pray that. They um, seek your face and um, uh, develop the fruits of the spirit, and they walk in flesh. I mean, it's walk in spirit and not in flesh. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. But yeah, um, like a prayer like that, and then also the counterfeit is being ministered to by demons. So, the counterfeit. If you guys, I don't, I don't even want to say this, but if you didn't know. The angels can see what's going on, and so can the demons. They can see in the spiritual realm. So these demons, this person is walking. Some of the counterfeits, their person is lukewarm. So that person is lukewarm. So, um, and yeah, even some of the uh, prodigals and stuff like that, they're lukewarm. So um, the demons are ministering to them and telling them things um, some of the time. Most of the time is the lord i don't know i really didn't want to say this but um they're not making it easy for your person to just, just cut out for the prodigals this is for prodigals or even like if you were already married well that's a prodigal but like they're not making it easy for this person to be like okay bye felicia or bye jaquan like they're not making it easy for them and that's a problem so you need to pray for the counterfeits okay so pray for the counterfeits because if they're lukewarm then the lord the lord loves who you hate so period and you are to pray for your enemies and love your neighbor okay so pray that the counterfeits like lord i pray that the counterfeits if you know the name say the name but lord i pray for the counterfeit i pray that the counterfeit gets a hunger for you that you touch their heart and you um and that you send ministering um angels to them to, to get the truth out to enlighten them and so they can move on and we pray that they get their kingdom spouse as well in jesus mighty name amen okay because yeah that right there can delay you guys that person that counterfeit um feeling like this is my person like honey your man's might be fine. Your wife might be fine. Like, they're not going to make it eat. They're not going to let that, that eight pack walk out the door. You know what I mean? Like, you just, come on now. Um, but also, you want them to be whole in Christ, too. That person might be a body, like, a part of, of the body of Christ that you are living in. So, you know, yeah. And also, the Lord wants you to hold your person accountable. So, don't now don't nag don't nitpick everything if you're unsure take it to the spirit and holy spirit will be like mm, no don't say nothing or yes yeah, say something because i didn't want to um because i'm just not one of them i literally let you step all on my forehead and my big toe but the holy spirit said you have to hold this person accountable and i was just like but lord lord and he's like no because i'm literally teaching them how to operate in the body and you over here i need you to do your part basically he wants you to do your part you need to hold accountability to that person also it's very attractive for you to do that your person thinks it's attractive that there's going to be somebody to tell them like no or yes even like women like i don't know it's like it's kind of sexy it's kind of sexy that you want me to be accountable but it's also like you you it's kind of like you believe in me like you're telling me to do better that i can do better that i'm capable of better it's like it's really nice but also the main thing is the lord wants you to do it so <laughs> be about your father's business now i have um who was her name i forgot i got this off her youtube video i'll link it i'll put a link in the bio she put three instructions 
for when your spouse um, makes you angry. Now, number one, write and speak it out loud, unfiltered. Okay, but make sure you don't be petty and be like, Lord, this person's so stupid and they get on my nerves and I hope you beat them up like because y'all been there, did that. But you need to um, speak it out loud, unfiltered to the Holy Spirit, not to them, okay? So I hope nobody clicked off of that because they about to go ruin they, um, they thing. I hope y'all are still here. But talk with God. What? What happened? Okay, why? Why did it happen? Where? Where is the pain coming from? Like, why am I? Is it because you literally have to get healed? So is it from a childhood? Is it from a childhood thing? Like, what's going on? Like, um, I had a friend, not not my person or anything, but I had a friend that I was trying to show her something. And she said, mm-hmm. And it just reminded me of when I was four years old, I tried to show my mom my very first French braid. I was like four or five years old. And she wouldn't look. And it triggered something from when I was a child of being ignored. So figure out where it's coming from. From, um, okay, identify. If you don't know why then your person doesn't know why is what she said. And that is a whole word. If you don't even know why you're feeling that way, your person's not going to know why. And he, they're not going to be able to even understand to even comprehend what, what to do about it. Yeah. Okay. And then also speak and write it with logic. Logic. Okay. What are the facts of this situation? Not how you feel. What is the truth about go what's going on? Um, and you also have to do that when you're holding pe your person accountable. You have to write out the facts. Not, I don't want you to play video games because she was saying that in a video. I don't want you to play video games because I want your attention. No, what is the fact of the situation? Now, um, get emotion out and then do the facts, okay? And this this step, number one, will help you grow with God. Um and that's the most important thing in this life, like to grow with God. Now, number two, speak and write with love. Speak it and write it with love. Don't just be out in your journal doing ba ba baluba. Like, don't be doing the most. Um, write it in love. Um, what would Jesus do? Okay. How would Jesus write this out? Okay. And then three. She said, give it three days tops to get revelation. And um, when you do, you take the revelation back to your partner and you say it with love. And what is the outcome? Get your desired goal. Like, make sure you get your heart's desire out the situation. And make sure you express it well and you guys are able to solve it. Um, and yeah. All right, y'all. I'm in this video. It's really long, but... These are the instructions until next time. <laughs>